Hey guys, this is Typhorce Reacts, and I'm back to react to Hyoden Jutsu's What If number 18, Ultra Instinct Goku versus Ultra Ego Vegeta. Okay, it's been a while since I reacted to one of Hyoden's, um, one of his videos, simply because, um, well, for one thing, he doesn't really upload all that often, so, and I was literally, like, I had just gotten done reacting to, like, so, a Naruto episode when when, like, the notification of, hey, this, hey, a new Hyoto Jutsu video is, a, is going to be premiering in 30 minutes, and I'm like, oh, okay, all right, I guess I'm doing this now. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't expect to be reacting to Hyoto Jutsu today, but here we are, I guess. But, yeah, Ultra Instinct Goku versus Ultra Ego Vegeta. I suppose it was only a matter of time before someone made this kind of animation, simply because, um, yeah, Ultra... These these two forms are very new and very and very unique to each each character that they belong to, and with Ultra Instinct being a very decent power up with a with an emphasis on you know the body moving in resp like without the user needing to think it's it's like half transformation half technique, and yeah it's it's there's a reason why um. Team Four Star labeled it their second favorite tr transformation in all of Dragon Ball, and then there's Ultra Ego, a very, very recent transformation that's akin to Goku's Ultra Instinct, but it's more about taking hits and hitting back harder. It's it's that kind of transformation. So, if you if you will remember the last time I reacted to something like that, it was um Thor versus Vegeta back at back when Death Battle did that um. Man, it's it's been almost a year since that episode, hasn't it? All right, um, yeah, I suppose that that makes sense. So, yeah, this is gonna be a whole lot of fun. <laughs> All right, let's just um, yeah, I don't really have anything else I can say to that, but yeah, let's just let's just jump right in, and we'll start the video up in three, two, one, play. Oh! Are we just jumping right into it? Instead of getting the- Oh, th there's a typical menu situa situation that we usually get with Yonin's videos. Alright. 64% very difficult. Alright. Hmm. I'm gonna have to look back at, at, at this stuff later, simply because... Yeah. So it's from Mr. Saint World Champion. Oh! Yeah, let, let, let's see what the champ has to say. Of course. <laughs> okay, so this is what, this is just a big, like, um, hey, subscribe. Let's subscribe. <laughs> just, all right, don't worry, man. I've already subscribed. I've, I've hit the bell notification and everything. I've liked, I've already liked the video. Let's get... You know what? Let <laughs> I've already liked the video. Well, you know what? Why don't you guys do that? I don't normally advertise my videos like that. I just I just don't feel the need to. I might as well do it while they're doing it. All right. All right. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna guess those two timelines were like on the, uh, the GT and the, the GT and the super timelines, so. All right. Hmm. Yeah, this, this is just cool right here, not gonna lie. Okay, yeah, so... Okay, this is just gonna be a, a big sparring session, like, with their most powerful transformations. Hmm. Are those, like, Hakai's, I'm guessing? So... Oh. 
omen version of Ultra Ego. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. Of course. <laughs> Whis is just going to goad them into a sparring session. Got it. Hmm. Yeah, because of course, because Dragon Ball Super Goku is just, yeah, he's just an idiot. <laughs> he, he, he more resembles his abridged self than he does his actual self, so, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Alright then. Very well. I, I guess Beerus has grabbed something. I mean, I, I already had something to eat right here. I, I got goldfish, but you know. Not sponsored, but yeah. But I, I'm not going to eat anything because I don't have anything to drink. My water bottle's empty, and I can't exactly go fill it now. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. That's a big mouth. That that's a one piece mouth. All right. Okay, Ultra Ego. And now for Ultra Instinct. I don't need a flashy introduction. <laughs> wow. All right, though. Hmm. All right, let's do this. And already the animation looks great. Okay. Yeah, so both the, the deciding factor in this fight is just going to be like, how many hits can Vegeta take before he goes down? And if, if not, if he can hit back at the correct time. To, you know, get get in a, a lot of damage. So... sure how I feel about the coloring of like both Ultra Ego and Ultra Instinct simply because they look a bit more dull than they than I would think they would but you know what whatever it, it's it's probably an artistic choice anyway so right yeah they could both use um instant transmission now so hmm Okay. Hmm. Oh. Oh, wow. Calling back to 
their basically their last real fight. Okay, that's that's actually really cool. Back in the Majin Buu saga. Share the same path on getting to getting stronger. Introduced to Ultra Ego's mindset. Huh. Okay. Interesting way to, of thinking about it. Hmm. Okay, then. Oh, wow. Mouth laser. It... I, I guess he had to learn something from Nappa. <laughs> I've noticed how Goku isn't really saying much of anything. Yeah, there's only so many, so many times I could say, this is awesome to, to watch and, or, you know, other s synonyms of that particular phrase, but like, yeah, I mean, come on. He's starting to land more hits. Oh boy. <laughs> Gotta love it when they shoot the key blast from the feet. Beers can make a compliment. What do you know? Uh huh. Oh, oh, how the turns table. All right. <laughs> well, then. Case on a mind bent on destruction. Right, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, oh boy. Excuse me? <laughs> Did he just... Is... Isn't that a Susano? Okay, they... they Alright, this this just went, went straight Naruto versus Ichigo on us, I guess. Or, or just maybe just two Uchiha's just deciding to go at it. But, like... Alright. Okay. Oh, okay. This this is Ultra Instinct Omen. Okay. Discard of all emotions. Spirit bomb. Okay. Ultra Instinct. Okay. He's sacrificing a bit of instinct to get even stronger. Okay. That's interesting. And he's absorbing it like in the Super Android 13 movie. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh, man. Never a good thing when Vegeta's just laughing while Goku's hitting him. All right. Oof. Oh, and back to Mastered Ultra Instinct. Okay. Oh, boy. E. That, that, that ought to hurt. Oof. Hmm. Okay, back to Omen. Oh, okay. Huh. He literally stole Goku's spirit bomb. All right, then. Man. And and I guess nothing's changed now. To this day, Goku has not um defeated Vegeta in a fair one-on-one -on -one fight. Because the first time was a team effort. The second time, Vegeta just knocked him out when his guard was down. And now here. <laughs> Do. Oh boy. To avoiding fatal blows. Okay. Oof. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting way of thinking about it. And he's holding out his hand. Let's have a fight. Let's have a, a better fight next time. <laughs> Just at the end of the day, they're bros. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're gonna need a nap, Kakarot. <laughs> Tyrants. Right, because now... Frieza has joined the Black Air Force. Oh boy. Oh no. Hmm. Yeah. It, it's it's certainly right. Yeah. All right. And that's the that's the that's the end. All right. Um. And I did like look ahead just to just to be sure there wasn't an after credit scene because they really like because Hyunin really likes doing that sometimes. But no, it's it's just, you know, popping up all this stuff. So, yeah, um, great battle. Like, got, gotta say, like, it, 
It's always interesting to see um, Hyoden Jutsu's like takes on like certain concepts that are introduced in Dragon Ball. It's partially why I like whenever like Goku Black appears in one of his in one of his videos because Goku Black is always like the same character. He he's the one who fought um you know future Gohan in the timeline where Go where Trunks is the one who died and Go Gohan lived and and then like in the um. Goku Black and Baby Vegeta versus Super Saiyan 4 Broly, and then Goku Black versus um, Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Um, yeah, um, it, it, like I said, it's always very interesting to see how Hyonin handles all these concepts in Dragon Ball that just aren't, you know, really fleshed out in the canon series, or even in something like maybe Dragon Ball Heroes, but then again, I'm not very well versed in Dragon Ball Heroes, so I'm not sure what else I can say to that. But yeah, it's this was really fun just to see like the two ultimate forms of both Goku and Vegeta at this point in time at least and just going at it and seeing how how that happens. So, yeah, it, it it's it's been really fun and I can't wait for for whatever hap, whatever he makes next. So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I got nothing else to say, so I'm just going to end the video here. So, yeah. Till next time, guys. See ya.